Hello, welcome to the Kia Niro Plug-In Hybrid channel. And um, this car um, behind me, the 2023 Kia Niro Plug-In, I bought in on August 17th. Uh, we're now at 5,782 miles. And today we're going to be really just refreshing the um, engine clutch actuator reservoir. Um, so though technically from Kia, there isn't anything to service until the 6,500 mile mark um, where they really, they want you to uh, inspect, you know, a few things, but in particular to keep an eye on your hybrid starter generator motor, this motor here, and the belt uh, that connects this to your crankshaft, because this is the starter motor when the um, car wants to turn the combustion engine on. Um, but today we're actually looking at this engine clutch actuator reservoir. Um, there's a really great fellow online um, who breaks down all these parts. He's a mechanic that specializes in hybrid vehicles and I'll link his video. He's really the fellow to watch when it comes to servicing your vehicle, understanding the systems. A lot of the th same things we're doing here, but he just has a lot more time and experience under his belt, and I'd love to take one of his classes. But this video is really about this reservoir here because uh, this fluid, basically it's DOT3 synthetic uh, brake fluid, uh, hydraulic oil, uh, it can take on water over time. And then you can end up with, as you've seen, it's been under 6,000 miles, but we're going to pull out, I'm going to... Um, suck out all of this material in the reservoir here and we're going to look at any sediment or anything that's collected uh, in this hydraulic fluid. Um, so if you don't know yet, this reservoir feeds the line to the uh, engine clutch actuator. So if you follow this line down about 12 inches, um, it actuates the clutch. Um, so there's a little cylinder, it basically pushes this hydraulic fluid through, little cylinder pushes into your uh, clutch cover and disengages or connects the uh, engine through your electric motor to your transmission. So it gets a lot of work and it has a very small reservoir. Um, so I just went to the hardware store and I thought, until I get um, my bi-directional scanner working, I just bought a siphon. We're gonna suck out that existing um, Actually, kind of, I mean, from the outside, it does appear that there is already residue collecting. Uh, and if we look inside, um, you can see that it's a bit cloudy. And um, it's clear that um, the fluid is either, either collecting water, I think it's probably collecting water from the atmosphere. So in case you don't know, on the cap of this um, reservoir, it says you can use um, dot three or four um, brake fluid, hydraulic fluid. Apparently the only difference is that the um, dot three, um, it's better at withstanding the absorption of water, and the dot four um, is better at tolerating higher temperatures. So the dot four fluid is, um, it doesn't break down as fast. It's just, it's better at a higher temperature. I bought um, this from my local shop. It's a full synthetic dot three. And, um, and anyway, so that's what we'll be replacing it with. When I get the bi-directional scanner um, to work, then we can actually tell the Kia through the KDS, the Kia Diagnostic, Diagnostic System, to do something called learning. Um, it's a confusing term, but I believe what it does is activates the actuator so you can push out the rest of the fluid and do a complete flush of the uh, clutch engine um, actuator. Um, but in our case, I really just wanna get a look at the reservoir to see how the hydraulic fluid has degraded over time. And then, because I believe this is about two thirds of the entire fluid in the system, there's not a lot of space for the fluid. It's just piping down to that. It's called, I think it's called a slave cylinder, the one that gets pushed out and into the shield of the clutch. So anyway, um, I'm going to extract that and we're going to take a look at uh, what the reservoir looks like. Well, here are the results. Uh, this is the 
pretty cloudy and amber color um, clutch actuator fluid that I pulled out. We'll take a look at the reservoir in a minute. That's also very interesting. This I just poured uh, just new fluid into. I mean, it looks like corn syrup. It's really not much to look at. Um, when I first bought the car, I should have taken a picture. I don't know how cloudy this has become, um, but we're gonna use this as our first control at 5,700 miles. Um, it's quite cloudy. Now, I don't know if that's DOT four fluid or three. Uh, I couldn't find that in the manual. It, will, it can take either um, as a basic hydraulic fluid. Um, but what's, I guess, more interesting now is, um, yes, there is indeed sediment at the bottom of my reservoir. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do, it looks all white and um, a little chalky. I don't know if the phone will find focus there, but we'll take a closer look before I clean it. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is just, uh, this is your air intake to your engine um, air filter. I'm just gonna take this bit off here. Um, there's only two, two bolts that hold this on, and then you can see where the, the tube is connected there that takes the fluid down. Um, so yeah, let's take this apart and take a closer look at the reservoir. Oh, special quick note here, I really thought that using like a syringe like this would be great at extracting the fluid, but the fluid is so lightweight and viscous or I, I don't know, it's so thin that as you pull it through, if you don't have a vacuum on it, if you're not still pulling back and you wait till you have it in the reservoir, it wants to run right back out uh, if it's not under a vacuum. So uh, I don't know if maybe buying a syringe with a finer tube on it would be better. This is maybe quarter inch or so. And um, so I, I might even you know, I spent $22 on this, but I might just get one with a thinner tube. So when I do extractions, I don't have to worry about, you know, losing vacuum and it dribbling back out because had I not put the rags on here, it was not actually a super clean process. I pulled it up and then it made a little mess. So anyway, just so you know. So here is the cleaned reservoir. I just used hot water in a bucket. And, uh, but then you gotta get it dry. So I had a Makita vacuum, I had to suck and then blow air through it at the, the same time with the fan, but now it's dry and outside of the tiniest of films at the bottom, um, it's clean again. So now I will go on to... All right, here we are with the final install. Uh, just remember all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver to take off this little bridge of tubing for your air intake to your air filter. You'll need a pair of pliers to get that little clip off the bottom. And you'll need another, uh, you'll need a number 10 millimeter uh, socket. So only really three tools and some rags. Uh, but here's the, um, the uh, new um, brake fluid, the dot three oh, fl uh, a dot three fluid. And I've taken it right to the max line on here. Uh, so again, this is uh, November 11th, um, 2023, and the car has just under 5,800 miles, and I've just refreshed uh, the reservoir and about half of the fluid that was in the uh, hosing there. I did a, a full hot water clean out with the reservoir removed, then dried completely. Then I put it back on with these two bolts and that clip at the bottom to keep the tubing on. And now we will check this system in another, I'd say 2000 miles. I'm not gonna wait another five. I'll at 2000 revisit this with, um, with you guys on the channel here and um, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. But I'm actually happy to have serviced this myself really not a big deal uh but for the the actual serving uh servicing which um kia says is every twenty four thousand miles to replace the um reservoir fluid and the fluid in the engine clutch actuator uh i think it's clear from um videos online that it's worth um tending to this system more frequently than hyundai and kia um say you should. So this will be on my radar for every fluid change that I do. I'll start changing this fluid. So thanks for joining me 
and um, still really enjoy the car. Um, this is just really something, uh, it's my first uh, servicing of the car itself. And um, yeah, turned out to be uh, quite revealing. And um, so yeah, it'll be very interesting to see how this system holds up over the winter and I will let you know. Okay, thanks so much. Bye-bye.